Uh, hi guys, welcome to another tutorial uh, of scale. Um, uh, in this one, I will be showing you how to analyze uh, a rating questions test. So we had uh, pressed the analyze option and uh, we select then the rating questions uh, test that we made uh, in, in another tutorial and we performed also in another tutorial. So uh, we just select it. <coughs> and we press confirm. Uh, here we have the different uh, sets of results uh, available from the subjects that perform the test. I performed the test myself four times. So, and um, yeah, these are my sets of results. The set of results, they have also always uh, the two first letters of the name of the subject, first letters of the surname, then uh, the date of uh, month and year of birth. Uh, the date that uh, the test was performed, also the time, three letters uh, of the name of the test, and then plus uh, results at the end. <coughs> uh, yeah, these are the ones available, and then when we want to see them, we just uh, clicked, like in plus to add uh, in the visualizing uh, list. <coughs> We can uh, select and delete one by one. We can select all of them and take uh, all of them out. I will select just one now. Um, we have here the different scenarios available. In the we had five scenarios in our test. So here are the five scenarios. And then we have uh, different uh, uh, visualization, visualizing options. In the case, the option steps is only available in the adaptive uh, test. Uh, method, so it's uh, un unenabled here, and uh, we have the average. Uh, so we will be watching the the values obtained uh, in every scenario for every question. <coughs> here are the different questions. We had three questions, and for every question, we can watch, uh, check, the, visualize the average obtained for the subject, the combination of uh, like the average of all the subjects, the combination and the confidence interval. Let me just show you first. Uh, we have now one set of results. <coughs> Sorry. We select uh, one scenario, for example, scenario one. And uh, as we see, uh, in scenario one, in uh, question one, uh, Probably question one had uh, two different, uh, in the option values, we had uh, selected two. So here is appearing the two values. We can see here also, uh, sorry, we had three values. Um, appearing also the text that was on the label, like it was, it get from really bad to great, like the slider was working like this. So. In this case, uh, I selected, uh, my judgment was in this point. We can see more scenarios together, like this. We can make it a little bit smaller so we can we don't have the end problems. So yeah, these were my judgments for this question. Uh, as the questions uh, have different labels and values, when you select uh, also another question to visualize, the other question appears here also. Uh, we can check here uh, in the legend. In the legend, we see that uh, the symbol for the question two is uh, also a cross, but a little, a little bit smaller, and for question three, even smaller. Um, <coughs> uh, I was wanted to say that. Uh, yeah, here we don't have any more the name because and um, and so because the levels change and also, for example, question one had only three values and question uh, three probably had more. Question three had uh, only two, yes and no, and question two. When we have a single question, we can see different options. So, for example, question two had five values. When we watch uh, all them together. Uh, the label, the text disappear, and then we have only numbers, uh, which go from zero 
to the maximum, the question that had maximum number of values. So for example, if question one was going from zero to two, question one values will be always uh, in this uh, area. This is just to uh, allow the visualization of the different questions together. So yeah, this was the visualization of uh, one subject. Let me show you now if I take uh, another subject. So we have the same and we have uh, marked uh, with the, um, the different subjects with different colors. We can add all the subjects, that uh, all the, the sets that we had and they are appearing here. Uh, we can also change our, let me take only question one now again. Uh, we can select different visualization options. One is the single averages. We can also check the general averages. So uh, general averages just takes uh, all the values from the sets that are selected and make an average of them. And this would be the average of so the tendency, what is important at the end. We can also watch a combination of them. And the last option is the confidence uh, interval, which uh, makes really no sense because I made uh, um, the test. Um, I was uh, rating or giving uh, judgments uh, like with no criterion. So uh, it's not, it doesn't make really sense the confidence interval here. And I, I also f have only four sets. But uh, normally, if you make a test correctly, this uh, gives an important information. So, yeah. <coughs> um, yeah, those are the basic options. Then it is also, uh, it is also possible to take the grid. And um, yeah, it's also interesting the uh, saving uh, the saving uh, option. Uh, you can save uh, your data in a graphic. It's a MATLAB figure, so you can export it to JPEG or uh, with some. You can also make a PDF, but you have to 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 set the PDF because uh, maybe you then you have only half of the screen or uh, funny things. So, yeah, you have this option. Um, but if you, what you want is the, the data, then you can save it in uh, an Excel table, a TXT uh, T file or a MAT file. Let me show you again, activate uh, the legend. Uh, normally, if you, uh, when you are working with your data, you would save it in a MAT file or an Excel file. I will save it now in a, in a text file. So, so we can see very fast uh, what we get. So we press here text file and we are asked to write a name for our file. So we will save it as tutorial and we will save it in the desktop. So we just open it. And uh, as we see, we have here the, the different, we have selected, uh, sorry, We have selected uh, five scenarios. So it is just saying that uh, the information in every line is the information for every scenario. Um, and then here, as we see, we have a subject one, question uh, two, because in question one, we had confidence interval. Yeah, uh, question subject one, question two, uh, in scenario one, in scenario two, three, four, five. Uh, this would be 1.9. Uh, uh, like, it looks a little bit funny, but as I said, normally you treat your data with uh, MATLAB or Excel and not just a text file. Uh, but if you want to, to make it like this and you import it to, to, some, uh, to some program that you made, probably, um, can read the numbers like this. So, yeah, we have the different uh, information for every subject. And then here we have the, the inf uh, information of the confidence interval. We have two 
different uh, columns. One is the middle point. This is the this point here in the middle. And then the the error. It's like the size of uh, of this of the tail, let's say. So, yeah, as I said, you would be saving your data in a math file or in an Excel file or an Excel table if you want to work with it. Uh, yeah, so this, uh, um, this uh, analyzing uh, interface is more uh, thought uh, to give uh, a help to the researcher when performing uh, the test because it's very easy to see what's going on in the test and very fast. But if you are, if you want to treat your results and uh, what see them properly and so, then normally you make yourself. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching and uh, you can watch other tutorials about scale if you want to to have more information. So that's all and uh, bye bye.